this is Tanara Kuranov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse, and today I'm going to help you experience the joys of Macintosh System 6 on your modern computer. That's right, we're setting up Mini VMac, the emulator I use for all of my System 6 games, including Mind Over Mac, Radical Castle, Stunt Copter, 1000 Miles, Double Morale, Load Runner, and even Dark Castle. Keep in mind, this is not like a game console emulator. You can't just put a ROM in and voila, you're playing a game. It's much better to think of this as a computer inside of your computer. So, step one, download Mini VMac. I assume if you're trying to set up Mini VMac, you've already downloaded it, but I'll put a link to the site in the description anyways, just in case. Now, if you go and launch Mini VMac already, it'll tell you that it is unable to locate ROM image, and it tells you it needs a file called vmac.rom. To clarify, this is not like a game console emulator ROM, this is the hardware ROM for the computer itself. Without it, Mini VMac is just a small, useless pile of assembly code. Mini VMac has builds for emulating several computers, from the Macintosh 128K to the Macintosh 2. However, the default is the Macintosh Plus, and this works for most System 6 programs and games. This brings us to step 2, finding a Macintosh Plus ROM. Where do you find one? The legal method is to own a Macintosh Plus yourself and extract the ROM image from it. I cannot legally tell you where else to find one, and I don't want to get in trouble. You're a clever little internet user with Google, though I'm sure you'll figure it out. Once you have your Macintosh Plus ROM via whatever method you used, rename it to vmac.rom, put it in your folder, and hey, it works! Sort of. It boots anyways, but this is like having a computer without a hard drive. Now, if you have a disk image of a game that boots right off the disk, like Mind Over Mac, you can actually open that right now and just start playing. But you probably want a hard drive in your emulated Macintosh Plus, don't you? Step 3. Getting a blank hard drive. Well, there are programs to create a blank Mac formatted disk image like HFV Explorer, which we'll cover later, but there is an easier way. On the mini VMAC site, there's a zip file with a bunch of blank disk images from 400k to very large sizes. You probably want something of a decent size, like 24 megabytes or higher. Remember when that was big? Anywho, pick your size, unzip it, and put that disk image in your mini VMAC folder. You can also rename the file to whatever you like, and that's your new blank hard drive. Though the hard drive's useless without anything on it, so now we need... Step 4. System Software Disks. Thankfully, Apple has been super awesome and provided old Macintosh System 6 disk images to the public. I'm glad I can actually compliment a company about their policy on old software for once. Unlike, oh, Electronic Arts. Anywho, you're looking for files called <clears throat> SSW underscore 6.0.8-1.4 MB. Rolls off the tongue. There's a underscore disk 1 and underscore disk 2, and they end with dot C dot bin. You want a version of Stuffed Expander to open them up. I used an old version of Aladdin Expander, but as long as you get two files called System Startup and System Editions out of it, you're good. These are your System 6 install disks. I should mention now that 1.4 megabyte floppies would not work on a real Mac Plus, you'd have to use 800k disks. But thankfully, Mini VMac can handle the bigger floppies. And now for one of the fun parts, Step 5, System Software Installation. For those of you old Mac heads, here's a nostalgia trip for you. Open up Mini VMac and open up the System Startup disk. Now you're in Macintosh System 6.0.8. From here, open up System Editions, and then open up your blank hard disk image. First, go to Disk First Aid on the main disk, click the Drive button until Untitled comes up, and open it, then go to Options, and then Erase Disk. This does two things. First, it initializes your hard drive to make sure it's compatible. I don't know if it's needed, but hey, it doesn't hurt. Secondly, it lets you rename your new hard drive within Mini VMAC, since the name you gave it outside the emulator has no impact on the inside of the emulator. So, give it a snazzy name, exit disk first aid, and start installing System 6.0.8. I'd recommend the easy install, and if you end up needing something like 32-bit quick draw or something, you can come back and install it later. As soon as you do that, restart and open up your brand new minty fresh system 6.0.8 hard drive. Save for the moment you have mini VMAC working, a Macintosh Plus inside of your modern computer. 
Now the funnest part, but probably the trickiest part. Step 6, installing software. You see, while the Macintosh Garden is possibly the best website ever, many of the files for System 6 games require System 7 software to open. Yes, a program like HFV Explorer or Fuse HFS can get files onto a disk image. Many of the Garden's files are useless in System 6. You can't just uncompress them in Windows and put them in with HFV Explorer either. That destroys any resource forks. You have to use Basilisk 2 to work with those files, and uh, that's kind of a whole new tutorial setting that up. It's not too dissimilar to this, though. You just have to install System 7 instead. Thankfully, there is a couple of sites that have System 6 ready-to-use files, namely System 6 Heaven, which has files System 6 can actually work with, and Emaculation's counterpart, System 6 Hell, which just has all of its files and ready-to-mount disk images. Now, I do want to issue one warning. This is to those with real Macintosh computers who want to use this software and not those with emulators. Many old Macintosh files are infected with one of two old Macintosh viruses, either NVIR or WDEF. Rebuilding the desktop takes care of WDEF. A program like Disinfectant needs to be used on NVIR. Like I said, though, if you're using Mini VMAC, no need to worry, they don't affect an emulated machine. I just thought I'd put that out there. Now, one piece of software I know is essential on your emulated Mac is Stuff It Expander 4, which is the latest that will work in System 6. I got a bin file and put it on with HFV Explorer, but it's much easier if you go to the link in the description and get the zip file instead. Unzip that and you'll get a disk image with Expander on it, ready to mount in Mini VMAC. So, do that instead. Now, if you manage to get a file from System 6 Heaven through the mostly dead FTP links, copy it over with HFV Explorer or Fuse HFS, extract it, and run. Oh. I guess Downhill Racer doesn't work on here. I looked it up, it didn't work in Mess on a Mac Plus either, and that's a super accurate emulator. Does it work on a real Mac Plus? Could someone let me know? If you got a disk image from System 6 Hell, just mount it and copy the folder of the game you want. Anyways, now you should be able to run what you want in Mini VMAC, or at the very least, be a heck of a lot closer. All the links to everything I used here are in the description. This is Tanara Kuranov signing off. Have fun with your new Mac Plus!